I'm currently sitting in the dining room of James Clark Maxwell's family home in Edinburgh. This was the house that he was born in, in 14 India Street. James Clark Maxwell is significant for the history of radar remote sensing because in 1865 he published his work on the theory of electromagnetic waves. This was extremely significant. It brought together all of the experimental results of the first half of the 19th century and brought it into a theory that was overarching and described all of the phenomena that had been seen to date. One of the key things and results from his theoretical analysis was that he could predict the speed of these waves. And I'll read to you what he said in his paper. He said, this velocity is so nearly that of light that it seems we have strong reason to conclude that light itself, including radiant heat and other radiations, if any, is an electromagnetic disturbance in the form of waves. So James Clark Maxwell's paper brought together all the experimental work on electricity and magnetism and light and demonstrated that they could all be described with a small set of formula. So they were all the same phenomena, but just under different conditions. For electromagnetic waves, this was variations in frequency or wavelength, but all with the same velocity. So for the first time, there was a general theory that described all of the properties of electromagnetic radiation, from the radio waves that the likes of Faraday had been experimenting with in the laboratory, to the light waves that people like Young and Fresnel had been experimenting on. And it also included the infrared and the thermal radiation and the other radiation like ultraviolet that had also been explored beyond the visible part of the spectrum. This is a significant point in the history of radar remote sensing.